Okay, so I'm going to use this piece of material as an example for how the child who is ready to use this particular piece of material, and there are many, has been prepared ahead of time and what this piece of material will lead to in the future. So first the child has learned when they come in very young how to pick up a piece of material, how to put it down, how to walk carrying a piece of material. These are the practical life lessons. The child has learned how to pick something up and put it back so that it fits in a very careful way. These are all in the practical life area. The child has learned how to match colors because when he does this work, the blue goes next to the blue. The black goes next to the black. And the red goes next to the red. He's learned about different sizes. This size of block goes next to this size. This dimension fits next to this dimension. This dimension fits next to this dimension. There are several different ways that the child learns to take this apart and put it together. Mm -hmm. Later, when the child is learning algebra, he will learn that this if you take the algebraic problem, a squared plus b squared, a squared, a plus b squared, in my mind, I picture, since when I learned that in geometry, I uh, pictured two objects. But really, if this is the length of a and this is the length of b, this is a plus b, and this square is a plus b made into a square. And when you do it on paper, you will get a squared plus b squared plus ab plus ab. So it's a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And that's the formula that you do on paper. Then when you get to cubing, you will have the same thing. This is a, this length is a, this is b, this is ab cubed. And on paper, you will have the problem, you will have the solution. No, it's okay. I think I can do it. I'll just put it away in the order. So, a plus b cubed is a cubed plus b cubed. This is a square b, so 3a square b. This is b squared, b squared a, so 3b squared a, yeah. and that's the solution. So this is taking very simple practical life into very sensorial, into algebra, squaring, and cubing. And when the child grows up, they're not doing this squaring and cubing on paper in the 3 to 6 class, but it becomes part of their mind, part of their understanding of the world. So later, when they're studying this in high school, they have it already in there, and they understand it at a level that is much different than everybody who's just doing it on paper. So that's one example of how Montessori under 6 yeah. helps the child understand all of the world later. Mm -hmm.